All right, guys, this video today is going to be important. Let's put our thinking caps on today. We're going to understand the super decks, the XRP ledger, cross chain dApps, how this all works. Okay, so get your thinking caps on. This is going to bring major value to the ledger as XRP ledger is gaining a cornerstone like structure in the Web3 ecosystem as a super dex with the partnership with Axlar. We're going to go over that today. We're going to show some clips from Jazzy Cooper. We're going to show some clips from some high level uh, uh, individuals from NASDAQ and Kraken talking about the key to adoption. And I'm going to show you how Ripple X Dev and the XRP Ledger are already 10 steps ahead of the key to adoption. Now we know that Ripple's main business case for the XRP Ledger is cross-border payments, their institutional focus for tokenization of real-world assets with central banks, uh, a lot of businesses building on top of the ledger for real estate tokenization, tokenization of all kinds of assets. So the XRP Ledger we know is market infrastructure. Ripple is the market maker of market makers. If that makes sense to you, drop a thumbs up because we are going to be providing liquidity for some of the most critical assets for the future of finance. So let's jump into today's video. XRP at about 58 cents today. Uh, everything looking pretty. We just got interest rate drop last week. So let's really, you know, do some homework today while we have the chance before the bull run so we can understand, uh, you know, what's really going on in this ecosystem. So Every morning, every day, when I'm actually not on YouTube, I'm not making YouTube videos, I'm in deep research, right? I'm researching with the private group. We're doing this as a unit, right? And one of the videos I stumbled upon was by NASDAQ. Now, we know NASDAQ is, you know, a major uh, infrastructure provider for traditional finance. They already see the vision with Web3. They see the vision for the Internet of Value, and they are leaning in like no other. And so they have a show on youtube where they're talking about crypto and they you know this came up in one of the conversations as i was doing my research and i took a clip and i posted it to the private group because this is very important they're going to tell you the key to crypto adoption like let me let me say that again the key to crypto adoption let's say that together this is the key to crypto adoption right here positive tone around legislation at least in the u.s i think that's going to open up doors down the line as far as institutional participation and, and andy you know you and i just having come back from consensus i would say in terms of covering i've been covering it since 2018 the three themes i got were capital markets integration of course everyone was talking about the regulatory framework but even coming from crypto evangelists themselves, it's not so much what's happening with core architecture and developers and engineers, they want the user experience to be perfect. And that's the key to adoption. And that's the first time since I've been covering it where it came to what the users want. So the key to adoption is the user experience. Now, what brings user experience? Seamless integration and interoperability. What do you need for that? You need aggregated liquidity, you need a super dex, which is why I am so proud of David Schwartz, Jazzy Cooper, everybody at Ripple X Dev, all the developers on the ledger. Super proud of everybody because this is what they've been working on for a long time, right? We're not chasing hype cycles. We're solving real world problems. We're solving the end user problems. We're giving them what they want. Now, the main business case at Ripple, they're doing this for institutions. Ripple X devs are doing this for the Web3 ecosystem. They're using bridges like Axelar to do this, right? And then bringing on custom side chains for the, well, with the EVM side chain for enterprise, right? So not only large institutions, but now we have large enterprises and small to medium enterprises building on the ledger. Game finance, real, real world asset tokenization. The XRP ledger is becoming a powerhouse cornerstone in this space. And the only reason that the price is still trading sideways is because 98% of the market does not do their own research. Guys, we have to understand we have to do our own research. If you want to be a sophisticated investor in this space, you have to put forth the research. If you do a 
50 hours of research over the next year, you will be ahead of the entire market. I'm telling you, the only people that do their research are sophisticated investors, large institutions, and uh, large enterprises. They're the only ones that are actually moving the needle when it comes to adoption of this technology. So let's talk about the key to adoption, which is the user experience. What is going to bring forth user experience? Cross-chain dApps, seamless interoperability. So cross-chain dApps via the EVM sidechain and the DEX routing from the XRPL mainnet for aggregated liquidity. This is like FX swap bridge function for the XRPL for Web3, a web a bridge for the best in class liquidity, low slippage, low slippage for GameFi and all your Web3 needs. I hope you can see what we're building out here. And actually, if you cannot see it, the next slide after I let Jazzy talk is going to be a mind map that I made to show you how this is going to work. So let's talk a little bit about the different ways uh, we expect developers to be leveraging uh, the EVM sidechain. Um, Cross-chain apps is an, an interesting idea that we've been leaning into recently with our partnership uh, with Axelar. So um, XRPL obviously has a lot of unique advantages, very secure, it's been around for a long time, um, secure consensus mechanisms, users, tokens, and whatnot. Um, but as I mentioned, it doesn't have smart contracts. A lot of developers wish to um, you know, relaunch the applications they've already built or just expand upon the capabilities that already exist on the XRP ledger. Um, so with this, we can actually use Axelar technology for XRPL users and XRPL applications to uh, remotely call smart contracts on any chain, but in this case, uh, on the EVM sidechain. So really starting with what the XRPL is great at and expanding upon that um, to really allow for full innovation, full application development using the best of both worlds on XRPL mainnet uh, as well as the EVM sidechain. All right, so if you have taken the DeFi course in the Academy tab, you need to listen up. This next part is going to be very important for us as DeFi liquidity providers on the XRP ledger. The majority of people are not ready for this. They don't understand what is coming. Here is a mind map that I just made, a creative visual for the cross-chain dApp for today's YouTube video. Okay, so up top, you have the dApp which is a dApp, right? Like an app on your phone, okay? It could be Robinhood, it could be a game, it could be Disney's app for the Disney park, whatever it is, right? Universal Studios app, a hospitality app, whoever. This is, they are, we are integrating real uh, Web3 into dApps, okay? All right, so. You got Polygon here, you got Solana, you got custom EVM sidechain. This could be a small to medium enterprise, whatever. This could be a game. The way the dApps are going to be sourcing liquidity because you need to have your Web3 tokens at the user interface up here at the dApp, right? Remember, seamless user experience, quality user experience is the key to adoption, all right? So like Jazzy Cooper has said before, if you're playing a game on the dApp and it needs something uh, and it's plugged in the polygon, but you need a token from a different chain, this is going to send it through the squid router. The squid router is going to send to the XRPL DEX, source it back up to the dApp. Now, all of these will be connected to squid router, Axelar. All right, and it sources the liquidity. So here at the protocol level on the XRPL dApps, we are going to start to see an influx of critical tokens that are used on these various chains. Now, Solana is a part of this, okay? Ripple X Dev has already confirmed that, all right? Solana is a part of it, Polygon's a part of it, custom chains, they're using Axelar to bridge the liquidity over. So this is a great image to use to understand how it's going to work all right so the xrpl is not truly in competition with any chain anymore it can be used in tandem in tandem this is the long-term strategy this is why 
not only as an XRPL market maker will you be providing liquidity on the XRP ledger with XRP, you will be a market maker for all the chains that Axelar and XRP ledger are working in tandem with. Solana is no longer competition. Polygon is no longer competition. These are no longer competition. They are working in tandem. Okay. So that means the next time when, when this world emerges, when we get the regulatory clarity, when everything starts to emerge and Web3 takes the scene, you can expect when you go to places like XP Market right here, when you see these token rankings, it's no longer going to be just regular tokens and projects that are building on the XRP ledger. You're going to see critical tokens for these other blockchains like Solana, like Polygon, and we are going to be providing liquidity for them. That is why it is highly, highly important that you understand what's in this Academy tab here. All the DeFi courses we've gone over are critical to understand now more than ever all about xrpl amm we have to get educated guys this is our opportunity to make the money to make passive income and to really get to the nitty-gritty about what's going on okay it's no longer gonna be just xrp projects all right it's going to be critical assets for these other chains that have been bridged over by axelar so they can support aggregated liquidity they don't want siloed liquidity we went over that in yesterday's youtube video see if i can pull it up in yesterday's youtube video we went over ripple's secret okay in Ripple right, Secret, guys. if you have not watched this, I implore you to watch it because they go over, this is from an institution, they go over capital efficiency, the problems for DeFi that we are seeing right now. There's limited capital or there's capital fragmentation everywhere. The XRPL Superdex is solving this problem with Axelar, token portability to the main dApp at the top, okay? Now you might be thinking, what are these dApps? This is the future of super apps and we are going to be providing infrastructure for the world of super apps, okay? Now, let me tell you as a person, okay? My family, we own and operate a casino chain. It's international casino chain. We have acquired an online casino app, okay? We have our own app where anybody in the world can play a casino. It's making a lot of money. It's doing great. Now, if we want to start issuing tokens and NFTs and multi-purpose tokens on things like that, we're going to need aggregated liquidity for market efficiency. What did, it, what did this other problem here say? Capital efficiency. What does that mean? Depth of market. Depth of market. Depth of market means low slippage what is slippage slippage is where you go to swap a token or you go to put, place an order on a market and there's not enough liquidity there so it has to source liquidity from the higher prices or the lower prices and you're getting a, a horrible deal because there's not enough liquidity the markets aren't liquid enough so the xrpl dex at the protocol level using the squid router from axelar is going to be sourcing liquidity for all these chains that want to be a part of the internet of blockchains with the cosmos ecosystems with solana with polygon with the custom chains that are going to be building out with ripple and the ripple infrastructure that they have built with ripple custody ripple payments we are in line to be making markets on the XRPL, but not only for XRP projects, for all Web3 projects that want efficient aggregated liquidity at the core protocol level. Ladies and gentlemen, you're here. We are here now in the place to be. My name is Andrew DeVilbus. This is the DeVilbus Capital Allocators channel. We're a private focused group of investors investing on the cutting edge. We're laser focused. Investing on the cutting edge, you have to be laser focused on what's happening now, not what's happening yesterday, what's happening now.
and what does the future hold for Web3? You can understand that if you're putting in the work, you're doing the research, when you're coming across videos like we just showed you, where you have people from NASDAQ and high and places uh, of, of infrastructure. From crypto evangelists themselves, it's not so much what's happening with core architecture and developers and engineers. They want the user experience to be perfect. And that's the key to adoption. And that's the. F that when someone like that from NASDAQ says the key to adoption is user experience, and that's what Ripple is actually working on while the rest of the space is chasing hype. Let's be real here, guys. If you're interested in becoming an investor as a career, you're, you're wanting to make passive income in your retirement age, this channel is the place for you. This private group was made specifically for us to have an asset in our pocket, okay? All these tabs are filled with videos, hundreds of hours of information for you to understand what's happening on the XRP ledger, what's happening on these cutting edge blockchains that are actually going to be real critical infrastructure for the future. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one.